Hello YouTube. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I have got some news for you guys. Um, first things first, I told you how I had computer problems, uh, problems with my editing program and problems with my um, camera or webcam or whatever. But I got most of that stuff fixed, so now I can make videos again. I got a new um, computer, so that fixed that problem. Well, it's not really a new computer. It's a it's an older computer from my dad's business, um, but it's only like two or three years old, and the one I was using was like nine years old. Um, it still works really well, it's just that it has a couple of bugs and it's not really um, working at its full capacity, but this newer computer is working great, and so I've, I'm being able to make videos again, which is awesome. Um, I also reinstalled my iMovie application so it's working a lot smoother now and I'm not having a bunch of glitches and, and things of that nature so I thought I would start making videos again now I do have a lot of stuff still going on so I'm not gonna be able to make like three videos a week like I do in the summer or like I did this past summer anyway um, but I am gonna gradually slowly start making more and more videos and eventually I'll be uh, back on track with making a couple of videos um, every so often on a f consistent basis anyway so I thought I'd open it up by doing a simple review and tutorial um, this is a little cube puzzle I don't really know what it's called I'm just gonna call it a uh, cube puzzle <laughs> that I got um, it was actually as a gift but I've seen him sold in a lot of different stores I got this in kind of like a little toys game store um, the name of the store I got it in is go toys and I've gotten some other puzzles from there it's um, G O exclamation point toys go exclamation point toys um, so if you have one of those in your hometown or you um, have another game store look for these this puzzle is pretty cool um, I think this one's pretty um, mass produced so I'm sure you'll be able to find it I might have a different version of it or something um, but I mean they're all pretty much the same they're cool um, anyway it's basically just a little cube puzzle and this is the solved state um, you'll notice that it's alternating each piece is alternating between a darker uh, piece and a lighter piece so dark light dark light dark light you know things like that um, and what it is is it's a long stream of these little cubies connected by a string as you can see um, the strings pretty durable as long as you don't tug on it too hard it's a little stretchy so you can kind of force some pieces in and out although I wouldn't be too reckless with it and um, for the most part the puzzle is very durable and it's really fun to play with. Um, the colors of the cubies are a little important. I mean, they're supposed to help you out a little bit, um, just so you kind of know the basis of what's going on. <laughs> but if you don't, it's not really a big deal. They're not really a crucial part of solving the puzzle. The most important part is getting it back into the cube shape. Um, it's a really fun puzzle, even if you don't know how to solve it. It's not as hard as a Rubik's Cube, so I mean, pretty much anybody um, could come up and solve it if they took the time and energy to you know figure it out but even if you don't you know it's fun to play around with it's fun to just kind of like jumble it up in your hands it's it's um, it's just fun to you know kind of twirl around and stuff like that you know maybe if you're watching TV you're just kind of bored and you just want to like mess with some stuff you just pick this up and kind of juggle it around in your hands a little bit but anyway if you want to solve it um, I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's go um, the first step um, that you're going to need to do is you're going to get the pieces um, all aligned correctly. <laughs> um, and you kind of have to know what, what the pieces are. I call them three pieces. Woohoo! Three pieces and two pieces. Yeah, three pieces, exactly. Um, no, three pieces and two pieces. Um, I call this a three piece where it's um, three cubies connected to make a string of three. And I call these smaller pieces like this a two piece where it's two cubies connected to make a um, string of two. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the end with four pieces of three. Um, and that just kind of helps you lay out the whole puzzle. You'll notice here, <laughs> this has a three and a two, but that's not what I want. I want um, four pieces of three. So here's here it is. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there's four of them. One, two, three, four. And so that's kind of how you're going to start out. I like to put this kind of in this position. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to start like that or like that or something you know start with these on the ground <laughs> or like on a table if you're using a table and then what you're gonna do is you're going to take this last piece of three and you're gonna pull it up a little bit like so and then the piece of two that's connected to it you're gonna kinda fold it underneath so it kinda matches up right there as you can see and then there's this little piece of three behind it you're gonna kinda whip that around 
to where it lays on top, like so. And then you're going to grab this piece of three and whip it around to where it lays on top, like so. So you're going to have like a little, um, little three sides here, kind of almost done. Now this is the trickier part. Um, you're going to take, kind of make it to where you can see it, this piece of three right here and this piece of three underneath it that's connected to, it's kind of off screen, there we go. Um, and you're going to kind of group those together to where they're like this. They're basically touching. All three pieces are touching each other. And you're going to take that and you're going to gonna jam it into like this little center right here. So as you see, I'm going to stick them together. I'm going to flip them. And as I flip them, I'm just going to squish them down into the hole like, like so. And they kind of just force in there a little bit. And then all you have to do from that point is take this two, move it sideways, and flip the last three. And there you go. <laughs> it's solved. Now let me show you how to do it just a little bit faster. Yeah, see that's what I was talking about. You don't want to start like this where you have this weird loose end. You want to have that being your loose end. So like that. Now again, you're going to take... Um, well, I'll do it the same way that we can see it right. Take this piece, fold it up, put the two down, take this three, flop it across, take this three, flop it across, take these two threes, combine them, and as you flip them, squish them into the middle, and they'll kind of squeeze in there a little bit, boom, just like that. Take this two, flip it sideways, and then flop down the three, and there you go. I'll kind of try to do it at full speed, if you will. Um, not very good at this, but whatever. Uh, let's see, how am I going to start? Start like, yeah, I'll start with that. Okay, so here we go. There we go. So it's it's fun to, you know, play with. It's not it's not by any means a speed solving puzzle and it's not a twisty puzzle. It's just supposed to be a fun thing they kind of mess around with in your hands. Um, it's fun to do. It's really fun to play with. It's a cool puzzle. Um, that's how you solve it. It's really fun even for like smaller kids and everything. So um, I would recommend getting it. It's pretty cheap. I don't know how much I got it for because I got it as a gift. But I don't imagine it would be any more than like $15 at the most. Um, that seems pretty reasonable for a puzzle like this. So anyway, now that I got my new program installed, my new computer, new computer, and everything's working again, I'm going to start making videos. And I want to thank a bunch of you guys that, you know, you kind of complained, you know, Daniel, when you make another video, where are all the videos at? You know, I know, I know, I know. I have wanted to make videos for a long time too, and I've been really lazy about that kind of thing, and I'm sorry. I truly am, but I'm going to start making videos again. And not just stupid status update videos and be like, Hey, um, I still can't make videos. Goodbye. And then three weeks later, Hey, I still can't make videos. Goodbye. Blah, blah, blah. Not going to do that. I'm going to make real, real videos. Um, so anyway, um, a lot of people have requested videos in the past. Um, I kind of forgot some of them that you requested. I have remembered a lot of them. I, I jotted them down somewhere. But um, anyway, if you're watching this video because it's the first one that I've made in a really long time, um, uh, post a comment below about what video you want to see, what tutorial you want to see, or any other video. It doesn't have to be a tutorial, you know, anything. Um, I got a, a bunch of puzzles over the Christmas break, so I'll be doing reviews for those also. Don't have unboxings for them because, you know, they've been open for a while. I mean, whatever. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and thanks for all my subscribers who didn't unsubscribe to me even though I didn't make videos in a really long time. I know I'm sorry for that. But anyway, I really appreciate the support that you guys give me here on my channel. My channel has grown a lot um, since the... Since day one, I guess you could say. Um, I only started this channel about six months ago. So, I mean, to have a couple hundred subscribers is a great thing. And I thank each and every one of you. And for those of you who watch my videos and don't subscribe, that's cool too. I'm just glad that you guys watch. If you want to subscribe, that's even better. Um, so, anyway, I thank you for the support that you guys give me on this channel. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. And thank you for watching.